just doing a little ESC installation here on my 22X4 and just going to show you how this works. Get a little isopropyl alcohol, wipe down your ESC here on the bottom, get it nice and clean and then uh, wherever you're going to install the ESC, you want to wipe that down on the chassis or the ESC plate like we got here. Uh, get off any debris. Now it's nice and clean, we can go ahead and affix the ESC. I like doing this. Uh, all with the ESC in the chassis rather than doing it separate. Um, just seems to get the fitment a little bit better. So I'm using some 3M double sided tape. I'll put down a link below um, on where you can pick this up. But it's a little bit of nice foam stuff and comes off clean. So just put that there on the bottom of the ESC. Peel off the other side here. And then, uh, yeah, just make sure you get this in the right place. You only got one shot at this. Otherwise, you'll want to reuse a new piece of tape. So yeah, I got that in there. Press that down. Now it's time to do the motor wires. So I'm using this little heat shrink from Donathan RC. Thanks to those guys make really nice uh, charging cables and battery leads and stuff like that. So uh, putting that on first. Then you gotta check the length of the wire you want to use. Just obviously do blue, yellow, orange, A, B, C. That's the order. So I like just doing one wire at a time, uh, just makes the fitment a little bit better I think. So you gotta strip off the end of the wire of course, using 14 gauge wire, here are my XR10 stock spec. Then you gotta pre-tin the wire, uh, so get a nice hot uh, wide tip soldering iron that makes all the difference. And then I just kind of feed in uh, the solder right into the end of the wire. You may have to do different sides of the wire, but hopefully you got the whole thing uh, nice and soldered, pre-tinned. Then I like flipping the car on its side, or at least getting the motor straight up and down. So uh, you gotta pretend the motor tabs here, but yeah, if you got the motor straight up and down, then at least uh, the solder won't like drip off the edge of the tab. It's just nice and straight up and down. Um, you gotta tin each tab, of course. Make sure it's nice and solidified there. Gives you a nice little pull to join the two together. Then the way I do this is I like to take the soldering iron and put a little uh, bit on each side and then I like to solder uh, the two together by basically heating up both sides at exactly the same time. So. I stick the soldering iron in between the wire and the so and the tab of the motor and then just heat them up simultaneously until they both liquefy. Then you can go ahead and put them together and then I push down on top with the soldering iron, make sure it's placed where I want it. Not that cool and there's one wire. I needed to fix this a little bit so I just put a little solder back on top and then uh, push down just to get it nice and solid. All right, here we go with the next wire. So again, once you got the first one in place, you can put the second one, make it nice and parallel with the first one, get the length right. Go ahead and clip that to length. Measure twice, cut once. Strip the wire, of course. Going 14 gauge on the stranded side. Peel that off. All right, got the right length now. Now we gotta tin this guy. I like using this little alligator clip with the big aluminum weight on the end. Just kind of holds it in place really well. So that's what I prefer. But yeah, pillow on the tip, and then uh, yeah, just feed that in there. So the solder should completely engulf the uh, the stranded wire there. It should go basically make a nice solid uh, tin right there. All sides, it should be completely flowed through the whole strand. Once again, tip tin, put some solder on both sides of the tip. Nice wide tip will transfer heat a lot better and give you a nice easier job there. And then uh, yeah, again put it heat up the wire and the tab at the exact same time till they liquefy and then I like pushing down on top with the iron get it exactly where I want it and then just let it cool 
until it solidifies and then we're good there last wire again measure to length get the wire turned the way you like it cut to length looks good there and we're gonna strip it again after a while you can get the, the exact length uh, correct every single time so now we're gonna tin the wire tin the tip first and then just apply it and just feed solder into the whole strand now the existing solder should melt the new solder and then that way you're not actually touching the tip directly but just feeding it in now we're going to attach it to the motor itself again in between the wire and the tab at the exact same time heat up both simultaneously press down on top don't move let it nice and dry don't move fingers get a little hot and that's that so that's the motor wires next thing we're going to do is the battery so one thing i like to do is re remove any battery spacers from the chassis first that way you know normally i would run this battery all the way up but you know i may want to actually move the battery back so definitely remove any spacers get your battery as far away as possible as you might ever run this that way you're not cutting the wires too short which would be kind of painful <laughs> if you ever need to redo it um Go ahead and cut the battery wire to length. Then we gotta strip it, of course. Now the other wire, it's got a little red heat shrink. Uh, that's for the positive. Make sure you scoot that back so you don't accidentally chop that off because you, you want that on the remaining wire, of course. Then we're going to cut the positive wire here to the length we want. There we go. And then we got to strip it, but the heat shrink's a little too close, so we're going to move it back a little bit more. Just so we don't actually chop that off. Strip to length. And now I've already uh, heated up the uh, connectors here, or tinned them, so... These are nice little flat wires, and I've already pretend the battery wire, so I'm not going to show you that again. But um, again, the trick is to heat up both sides at the same time. Nice hot iron. So it can be a little tricky doing this on camera um, because of the angle, and I'm trying to use two hands. But yeah, get that heated up till it's nice and liquefied. Hold it steady so you don't put in a little tear in the solder. And then we're done with the first one. We're going to do the second one here. Again, put solder on both sides of the tip. Heat up both sides at the same time until they nice and liquefy. And then you can push them together. And I like to push down on top and get this beautiful solder drain. I also do it at a little bit of an angle just so it's not too flush with the battery. Okay, we're done with that. The last thing to do here is the... Uh, capacitor so I like using a little shugo um, you can use servo tape but I don't find that it sticks that well to the capacitor the shugo actually sticks a little better it also comes off clean if you ever need to remove it so I just use a little shugo basically glue that in place wherever I want that it needs to dry so I like taking something and uh, putting a little bit of weight up against it so I can let it sit there with a little pressure to hold it in place so I'm using a little nut driver here Put that on there and yeah, let that dry for a few hours. And then we're going to do the motor wire. So uh, make sure you get the right length, of course. You got to plug that into the ESC. This 22X4 has this nice removable ESC plate. So if you ever need to remove the, the motor wire, it's a little bit easier. And then to press it in, I like using like a little one and a half millimeter hex driver. Uh, don't press against the wires, just kind of press around the perimeter of the connector. 
the hex driver is a little bit sharp, so you don't want to cut any of those little tiny wires, um, but it's a nice way to kind of seat it all the way around and making sure that conductor is all the way in there. And then we got to do the motor side, of course. Get the orientation right and just kind of push it in. You can just use your thumbnail to get that in there. And then I like kind of tucking the wire out of place. And the last thing we got to do, we're all done with the wiring, but we got to calibrate the ESC. So make sure your throttle is set to 100% brake and throttle. Then turn on the ESC on the hobby wing. You just hold it down until you hear that beeping sound. And then leave the throttle on neutral, hit it once. Go full throttle, hit it again. Full brake, press the button one more time. And yeah, there, we're done. So yeah, that's pretty much it. ESC installation. I hope you liked this video. Please like, share, subscribe. Hit the add notifications button. Look for more videos soon. And thanks for watching.